Oh, thanks for the uh, five month, four month resub there, Dawes. I appreciate that. Hope you, uh, I don't, do you get a new badge for that? I don't remember. Eye shot. Yeah. Critically hit in the eyes for 27 damage, causing blindness. Unlucky for him. He has six health left. He's done. That drew some people from inside. I appreciate that you want to be close to me, but, uh, you know. Does she have a gun in her hand? She has a gun. She only has 15 health and she carries a desert eagle. Uh, right arm, head, right arm. Got her. Nine damage. Didn't cripple the arm, but I got her to run. Can't see her anymore? Well, if I can't see her, she can't see me. I'm a toddler. Toddler? Infant. Oh! Man, I fucked him up. Yeah, she's trying to run. Uh, actually, just move out of the way of Ian. We are massacring these raiders. Good ammo on that guy. What does this uh, one use? Uh, HP, hollow point for unarmored targets. Bonus damage to unarmored or low armor. Unload guns that you're not gonna pick up. Get the extra ammo out of it, a Molotov, not bad. I might actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that gun just to sell. I have inventory space, apparently. You got a few kinds of ammo. I think I may have glitched the game and I just have infinite uh, carry capacity. You find a new glitch every time you play this game. I'm carrying, oh no, only 149, okay. I really did save a lot of weight selling those uh, tails. Here, the other magnum and all the magnum ammo. Can you not, uh, there you go. Okay, um, I think we just walk in now. There might be a guy in that tent, actually. I want to go slowly around the outside first. I remember a surgery where you get the plus five damage perk and then throw flares everywhere because uh, they only cost one AP, yep. Flares have some weird strategies. Oh! Walk in by two, aimed shot. Oof. Can't get a good aimed shot. Never mind. Hey! The people inside are finally noticing. Okay. Oh god, Ian's blocking the door. Ian, why are you punching? You have a gun. Fuck. Uh... Oh, that's their leader there. Ian, reload your gun! <sighs> wow. There's Garl. He's got a Desert Eagle and 80 health, and he's got Metal Armor, which is very resistant to bullets. I believe it's actually weak against... Uh... No, it's very resistant. No, it's resistant to bullets, very resistant to laser, bad against plasma. And electric weapons, which are incredibly fucking rare, is good against basically everything. I'm gonna go for the eyes. Got him! Only five damage. There's always a chance a eye shot will do basically nothing. Thanks, Ian, finally! Got him with the Desert Eagle. The raider inside keeps missing. I'm just gonna have regular shot. Six, ugh. Just making sure I'm out of view of that window. <laughs> oh! No, I'm not dead. I got knocked down, but this might finish me off. Yep, they finished me off. Ooh, bad crit.
All right, let's, uh... Luckily, we saved right before that. I don't think I actually want to go in there first. I think I actually want to shoot from out here. Where do I need to be standing to get a clear view? Or is that door in there closed? I think that door in there is closed. Oh, no, it's not. I should have switched to my burst fire gun. Really? Okay. I'm gonna lead them out again, then. But just insta-kill this guy. Twenty-three damage. Uh, can't see him. <laughs> I think a single will do it. Really? That didn't kill him? Okay. There. I heard the thump. Yeah, Ian finished him off. Ugh. Come on, can't see either of them? Take the opportunity to reload. Four damage, so one of the burst bullets hit. Oh, but, uh, Ian critted him and knocked him to the ground. So he's he's easy to hit when he's down. He had to spend some AP to get back up. Uh, he's got 44 health left. She only has 15. I'm killing her. One shot? One shot. I'm backing off a little to make sure he doesn't get me. I think he's a melee fighter? No, he's got a pistol. Right, he's des Desert Eagle. Okay, I've got almost no health. i got six left. Why is plaid so popular? I'm Canadian. It's all we wear. I love plaid. Alright, popped a stim pack. 19. Is that enough? Fuck it. It's probably enough. Yeah, he crit. He blew out his chest. 48 damage. Metal armor. Capacity issues. We'll worry about that after combat. There we go. A lot of experience. Oh, we got 200 for each rescued slave. So those count as rescued slaves now. All right, Ian. In the pack mule. I have so much stuff I need to sell later. You know, you can hold like three of the armors for now. Wish there was a take all button. I believe there is in the second game, but I could be misremembering. Metal armor this early in the game is quite nice. Yeah, it's worse at protecting you from fire. Right, electricity wasn't added till the next game. I forgot about that. Yeah, the only difference is uh, this it makes you almost immune to laser, but you're slightly weaker against fire. The armor class is higher on leather armor too, which is dodge chance, but this protects you better. So you take less damage than this. It's a bit of a trade-off. Either one is debatably better. There's still one guard back there. Thank you for saving me. Molotovs, those don't weigh much. Oh! What, did you just notice me now, lady? There's a few raiders left, actually. Surprised they didn't run out when Garl ran out. Ian, if you shoot the prostitutes. He killed a prostitute. For fuck's sake, Ian. He killed one of them. Well, I got the experience already, at least. For whatever that's worth. Yeah, he finished her off, at least. 
Not the prostitute, although I'm sure he would have done that given time. Ian, Ian, that's reckless. What are you doing? You have that handled, Ian? Oh, that guy popped a stim pack. Fuck, we could have gotten that if he didn't use it. <laughs> Ian just tried to kick him. He's still standing? Holy shit. I'm walk running over this way. Because Ian's shooting and I don't want to get hit. Money. I'll check the prostitute. Nothing. She didn't even have anything. Shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun, but a combat shotgun's nice if I get one. It's a burst fire shotgun, which is powerful. Ooh. Uh, money. Lockpick set. Don't mind if I do. Sawn off. Sure. Nothing in here. And yeah, that was on that Tandy was in. So then there's this one. This press is still here. It's locked. Which one was lock picking again? Two. Okay, two on the keyboard. It's the hotkey for that. There we go. Unlocked it. 25 experience, which is the same as killing a rat. Nothing. Not looking like it. There's one more guy out here. I want him dead. Thanks for the uh, follow. Salad. I think it's supposed to be salad steak, but spelled differently. Makes me think of solid snake. I don't know if that's intentional. Uh, but welcome to the flock. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Nice. Alright, uh, that is every one of the cons in this base dead. And we got a stim pack. The loot was very much worth it. And, uh, yeah, save Tandy, save the prostitutes. We saved two prostitutes and then Ian shot one of them because he's Ian. And I will reload. And other hand is this. I actually don't want to have this out when I go to the next town, so that'll be fine. Uh, can you level a, uh, a can you level a skill by just by doing the same thing over and over? No. Not in uh, not in this game. No. Um, very few skills can give you experience, and they're like one-time things. Also, you don't level skills by using them. This this is before Bethesda owned Fallout. Uh, you you level skills by gaining skill points and then spending them when you level up. Very intentional on both parts. Got it. All right, uh, we have done every quest in Shady Sands. We did Vault 15. We did the stuff at the Raiders camp for if you're good karma. Do I want to bother fighting them? Fuck it. If, if we're going to do almost every quest in the game, so I want the experience. Whoa, that was a hell of a crit. Beautiful. Not a kill. Hmm. That's the one thing about eye shots in this game. They're not always powerful, they just have a crazy high crit chance, and a crit is really powerful. Uh, that was a decent experience. Then gonna head to bed, night all. Hope you have a good yeah. night's sleep. Thanks for the follow, uh, Javador. Welcome to the flock, hope you enjoyed the stream. That yeah sound effect, by the way, was the noise of me, uh getting my goal of subs uh, followers. So I got 10 followers today. That's awesome. I'm happy that so many people are just looking up Fallout 1. I love this game to death. Better put that away, friend. Uh, sounds fair. By the way, what's the local law regarding, regarding weapons? Uh, good yes. No weapons can be drawn except for in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your fault. Uh, other than that, it's your right to go around armed. Just don't pull an eye for a gun without just cause. Got it. It's daytime, so we're allowed in without any fuss. Okay, so, uh, again, I wrote down every quest that I want to do in every town. Uh, I know most of them by heart, just because, again, I, I beat this game every year. Just, it's fun. Um, but uh, it's nice having a proper order, because I've actually written down the skill requirements for each thing that requires a skill to make sure I don't go fucking it up, because you know me. Okay. Uh, Junktown. 
let me just... Do I have everything on that page? Yeah. So, I want to help Saul stop Gizmo, bust the Skulls gang, and rescue Cynthia. I want to bust the Skull gang the peaceful way. Um, because if, if you do it the violent way, you need to actually work for the gang a few times first, and I don't want to do that. You can upload this to YouTube? Always do. Whole thing will be in a playlist. Um, ooh, yeah, I think I want to do Saul first, because that's entirely speech-based. I'm probably gonna get Tycho last, Tycho and dog meat, just because I don't want them fucking up any combat we have. You know what? I might be able to get mm, no. I was gonna say I could get dog meat first because he's good against Gizmo, but um, no, Ian will just shoot dog meat. Not that Tycho won't, but Tycho's better about that. All right. Um, I guess I can talk to him first. What's the big picture in Junktown? Me and my men work uh, with for Killian Darkwater. Keeps uh, some orders in some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, I'll, you'll stay away from Gizmo. That fathead runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skull Gang, are going to take the fall sometime soon. If Killian has anything to say about it. Uh, good to know someone's keeping the peace. That's our job. Okay, before we do anything, um, we may as well just activate the Killian thing early. There's a quest you can do in the hospital where if you go into the basement, you find that they're chopping up human body parts to sell to a shop in the hub. And you can blackmail that guy to give you money every week. Uh, however, that's a bad karma thing, so I'm not going to do it. But you can get a lot of money out of it over the course of the game. All right, so this is Killian's general store. He is a merchant, the mayor, and the sheriff. Can I help you? All right, this is the first thing I want to do in, in town. Um, who are you? The name's Killian, Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? My name's MDB, I come from up north. Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? Uh, nope, come from a vault. <laughs> He's not gonna believe, they never do. Oh yeah, sure you do. And when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. Eh, you got my joke. I actually come from a village not far from Shady Sands. Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? And you can trade with him here if you want. Uh, how about tell me a bit about the town? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly, we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Man, I cranked the volume on voiceovers and it's still so quiet. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Uh, better go. Here we go. And now you just make sure you've got a good gun. Gizmo sends his regards. And he just immediately shotguns Killian. Luckily, Killian has a good amount of health. He's got plenty left. I've never seen Killian lose this fight. But, you know, help out. Don't be a dick. Where do the people of Junktown come from? Uh, around or from in Junktown? I'm not sure what you mean. Ian's totally gonna accidentally hit a guard. Okay, good. The guy died. 400 experience points for helping Killian with the assassin. Put away my gun. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Me? Uh, what do you need for me? M uh, me for? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Uh, sounds kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
It will be dangerous, but I'll owe you one, and Killian Darkwater always pays his debts. So uh, I, I have a fun story to tell you about the development of this game and how this quest was ori originally going to be written uh, that I'll tell you about after the end of the quest. Um, a cool thing about Fallout games is uh, every single town you visit will have a different ending depending on what you did while you were there when you beat the game so it feels like you really had an impact on the world. Not all of them are properly implemented. This patch may have fixed some of them. Like, I think the hub, it's almost impossible to get the good ending for just because it wasn't properly implemented into the game. But uh, welcome to Fallout 1 and 2. They're glitchy as fuck. And then they got taken over by Bethesda, a company known for being glitchy as fuck. Um, what do you mean, pays debts? I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. The bug is the sneak way to do it. You reverse pickpocket it onto him and talk to him. And the wiretap, I believe, is the uh, speech way. You need to speech check your way out of the conversation into telling you what you want to know. And then also, you know, uh, you got to get told what you want him to tell you. And then get out of there safely. So here's Gizmo's Casino. We're gonna just do this one early. It's easy. This is the main quest of the town. And we can gamble here if we want. What do you want? I'm a busy man. This conversation has my favorite piece of dialogue in literally any video game. We're not gonna say it because it's a really bad idea, uh, but we will be able to see it in the conversation. Uh, I'm here to tell you that your assassin failed. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, of course you do. You hired someone to kill Killian, and he screwed up. I don't know who you are, but I don't take kindly to strangers walking into my office. And accusing me of things they know nothing about. Ah, oh, but there's where you missed the point, Gizmo. I'm not accusing. I'm here to help you. Really? <laughs> He's gonna help me. What kind of help are we talking about? Easy. You send someone to kill Killian. He failed. You need someone who can do the job better. And let me guess. You're that someone. Uh, very good. For a price, of course. Well, how can I trust you? I'm here, and you need someone from out of town to do your dirty work, right? <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Do you love how every single dialogue option there's a chance to call him fat? <laughs> oh, I I could put one over on you. Just no way anyone could put something around put one around you. I fucking love the dialogue in this game. Uh, got it. What you want him dead for? That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? That's why I'm here. He'll be dead before sundown. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to run into the dialogue where we got to, uh, where we got to, uh, do my favorite dialogue in the game. Uh, I believe maybe that might only happen if he, if you go to Gizmos first, because then he'll just proposition you to kill him. Um, yeah, but I, I wore the wiretap there, so we had the confession. Uh, my favorite dialogue is, uh, when he's asked if you're interested at one point in the murder plot after telling you the whole thing, you say, uh, I don't trust you as far as two people could throw you. Not a chance, Slim. 
uh, which of course he'll try to kill you for. But there's also a hard cut rule in it where whether you're agreeing with him or disagreeing with him, if you call him fat two times or more, he'll try to kill you. That's why all the fat dialogues are in there, are both positive and negative. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? The confession. You can also, there's actually a dialogue for if you did both, but uh, it doesn't get you any extra experience. Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. We'll take all the stim packs you can spare. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm gonna take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Sure, it'll be worth it to see him try to walk more than ten feet. Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now listen, this town owes you a lot. All right, gain 500 experience points for securing Gizmo's confession. And we'll go finish off the Gizmo thing. So we, we just go to Gizmo's place and we need to kill him because obviously he's not leaving. They'd have to program a, uh, they'd have to program a walk cycle for that. Um, so the way this game was originally gonna be written, it just tells you about the depth of the writing in this game is they wanted the karma system to be very not clear what is good and what is bad. The endings for Junktown are depending on what you do with Gizmo, and it's like, you know, if Gizmo takes over, then everything's evil and he's corrupt and whatever, and if Killian takes over, everything's great and he's a great sheriff and mayor. Uh, what it was originally going to be, according to the developers, was if you help Killian win, he has complete control over the town and is basically got authoritarian rule because there's no checks and balances anymore by that point. And so it ends up really stifling growth in the town and it's awful. Whereas if Gizmo lives, he just keeps every, he keeps uh, regulation on everything really loose and it ends up growing to be a thriving metropolis and a trade center for all of Southern California. And so it's that thing where, you know, you might think you're doing something really noble, but it's a short term good for a long term evil. But they decided that that went too far against the karma system and just made it Helping Killian is good, which is why he has the name Killian Darkwater. It's supposed to give you this idea that maybe he's not a hundred percent on the up and up. He has good intentions, you know, lawful evil, I guess you'd put it. You know, he he wants law and order by any means necessary. Ready to help take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that tub. All right, let's do it. Ah, uh, you can see him draw a gun from under the desk. So there's Killian, and we have a couple. We have a guard, we have Killian, we have Ian, who's gonna shoot me in the back if I don't move. And he's got his guard there, who I think is a melee fighter, Izo. 50 health, what's Killian have? 70. With a 9mm Mauser, which is a pretty weak weapon. Can I, uh... I forgot his desk is part of this thing. Get him in the eyes, he has like... No agility. Boom. Critically hit for 40 damage. Yeah, Izo's just a melee fighter. Well, that was an easy knockdown. He's almost dead. Now he is dead. How much health does Gizmo have? 19. He's done. Head. 9 damage. He's still alive. There we go. Blew at his chest. There we go. Put away my gun. 500 caps and leveled up. All right, that's the main quest here done, but there's plenty to do in Junktown. So, uh, the our usual thing, uh, get speech up by 10, lock pick up by 10, and then the rest in energy weapons because we need that to be high by the end of the game. So I'm being hit in the head rare, but wow. I know, right? Got unlucky with the damage roll. So what else do I have written down here? Help Saul, Bus Skull Gang, Rescue Cynthia. Okay. Rescue Cynthia is one of those uh, quests that a lot of people don't know were in the game. Uh, I think we want to go hit up Saul first. I think if you already do... if I think if you do the Skulls Gang first, you can't do the Cynthia one. I'm not 100% sure. 
Or if you, or rather, if you do the Cynthia, no, if you do bust Skull's gang first, you can't do Saul, his quest, I think. Um, oh, right, it's not that one. That's, that's dog meat, by the way. Or the one that becomes dog meat. We'll get him later. Uh, I just don't want him to die in a fight that might happen later. So I'm not going to get him yet. You just need to walk near him with the one sleeve leather jacket because it reminds him of his old owner, which is, of course, implying that his old owner was uh, Bruce Campbell, uh, Mad Max. 